and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 2019 Best of the Year season. Woo! Thank you, audience. I'm so yeah! glad we mic'd. You guys are doing it. I'm so glad we mic'd that one person. Actually, you know what? Person, you're being so loud. Why don't you come up on stage tonight? Oh, it was me, Greg. Oh, thanks, Greg. <laughs> you're you're going to be the Price is Right person for this episode. Uh, Greg. Yes. Tonight, we are doing our fan favorite uh-huh. annual. They basically demand this. Oscar draft. This is where we go around. We uh, have teams of movies, and we try to collect as many Oscar nominations as possible. Or is it actors with the first name Oscar? Oscar Meyer, Oscar Isaac, <laughs> those people. You know, Oscar comma the Grouch. Oscar comma the Grouch. Yeah. Uh, well, and who how who normally wins this, Ryan? Who normally does the best? Would you say? I did not. Let's. I just want to make it clear that I did not tell Greg to ask that. Uh-huh. Like that was a question that he just desperately wants to know the answer to. I made up that question on my own. But I got to say, Greg, if we look at the numbers, it's me. It's always me. It's uh-huh. every time it's me. Is that why you're hosting? You won the right to host last year. Yes, hosting podcasts is always a fucking privilege, and I love doing it. People really respect the guy. Also here is somebody who used to come in second until Greg came on the show. It's Mike. Hey! <laughs> happy to be here, happy to get in a sweet, sweet third. Um, because we like to never get last place, um, we invited Taylor to be on this annual thing. Taylor? What's, what's up, guys? I suck ass at drafts. <laughs> Turns out I'm real bad at this, even when I try really, really hard. And Taylor... As a Christmas present, late Christmas present to you, we brought in a, what's the opposite of a ringer? A dinger. Um, a, yeah. <laughs> a dinger. What if you didn't get last place? Cassie from A Natural 20s has volunteered to do worse than you. Oh, what's up, fuck. Guys? Oh, thank you so much, Cassie. Yeah, I will take this burden. You are welcome. Oh, here's the problem. You're going to beat me. I'm going to feel real bad about myself. No, this is a Cassie guarantee. I will do <laughs> terrible at this. Yes. Cassie, we're in this together. You and me, we're now like a team. Yeah. Now back to yes. Greg and Mike. Who are we actually betting on getting further? Uh, even though she's going to get California Raisins in the first round, Cassie's uh-huh. going to win. The movie version of the California the Raisins story. The movie version story. that didn't come out this 2019. year. 2019. <laughs> Wait, that one? So we can grab that one? You can, yes. You, All can, right, cool. you can get that. Um, let's talk about overall strategy this time. Uh, starting with Greg, what, what's your plan here tonight? I, I always have this balance between I want to pick movies that I have seen Versus the ones that I know are going to do really well. This year, I think I'm just going to do the ones that I think are going to do really well. Even if I haven't seen them, even if I don't quite know what they're about, if I think that they're going to win awards, I'm going to pick that. Because last year, I didn't do that, and I was one pick away from like the perfect draft. I should have asked you that question and gotten that answer off air, because that's the only way to win, and uh-huh. nobody else knows about doing that. <laughs> Mike, what about you? Are you going to stick to just movies that you liked? I just picked my favorite movies. Fuck the Oscars. Everything's bunk. I'm the real winner here. Okay. Taylor. Yeah. What's, what's, our, what's our game plan here tonight? All right. Well, so no Power Rangers movies came out this year. There was a Godzilla movie, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I think this year I am really, and I said I was going to do this last year, and I still fucked it up. I think I'm really going to go for what has buzz and what I think people are actually going to nominate. Like B-movie? Yes, like B-Movie. <laughs> it's got it's all the movies. Else. B-Movie. <laughs> a real honey of a story. Ah! Uh, I, I think I'm still going to lose somehow because I just don't understand how movies work. So now, Cassie, you've heard uh, three veterans talk yeah. about their strategies. Are you feeling better? Do you think that you can maybe take this down? I have a completely different technique, and I think it's going to take me pretty far, actually. Oh, please explain. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm doing alphabetical is all I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see how it goes. That's oh no! She's gonna take one of my picks. <laughs> she's gonna take nineteen seventeen right away, right? Because it's no, that starts with an N, Greg. That no, starts with an N. It starts with a one. You right? alphabetize it, and it goes after the M's. Oh, this is a whole Ryan, other podcast. Where did you go to school? What? Where, where did you guys go to school? <laughs> Stupid Good idiot schools? school. Hallsville High School, Hallsville, Texas. Represent Bobcats. <laughs> and where did they? Where did they teach you? Nineteen seventeen goes <laughs> right after the M's. Thank you very much, Taylor. <laughs> I just lost the argument today. <laughs> yes, you did. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. We're going to randomize the order when we come back. The Oscar draft. Welcome back. So we have the draft order. Uh, I did randomly get selected to go first. Uh-huh. Very yeah. randomly. Oh, yeah. We random. all saw it. 
Cassie's going to go second. Greg is third. The I thinking like man's it. first. That, that's the, I, I consider third to be the thinking man's first pick. Mike is fourth, and Taylor is fifth, which means he <laughs> gets to go twice in a row. Hell yeah! Shirt's tucked in, pants <laughs> tucked up. So tucked in. <laughs> I, are- am, I am ready to fucking go. <laughs> uh, which means, because this is Serpentine, Taylor, you will do two picks, af- uh, one after the other, and I don't get to pick again until pick ten. Um, Greg, you said that I was very excited about this. Do you think I should not be? Well, I just think that you have a little bit of advantage because you're like you know the most about movies. So your pick, you have a chance of like snaking a if like if you had the third pick, there's a good chance you would get first pick money for third pick prices. Well, now I'm disappointed in my. But now, yeah, you're gonna have number one. So I think you will get the number one movie. But there's not gonna be an upset for you. And then you go all the way down to where you have the tenth pick. You're right. And I guess you could do some damage there. Ten and eleven. I bet you're gonna get the value of like a few picks higher than that. But it's just first pick is worth the least to you. Plus, between my first and second pick, I'll be saying things like "Marriage Story" is not gonna get any nominations. Uh-huh. You guys are gonna believe me, uh-huh. and then I'll be fine. Um, Taylor is bound to just pick Baby Yoda. <laughs> the real pick that you want is if you set the top tier, that if there's three movies, then third pick would be the best. Yeah. I don't know what how many movies are in that top tier. Dude, it feels like there's a lot of movies in that I, top tier. I, I think it's probably six, and I'm at the best position. <laughs> Untuck your shirt, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. There we go. Here, Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're doing okay. it. The first pick. I'm on the clock. And I have 15 minutes to make my selection. So you guys just do. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be great radio, everyone. And he needs absolute silence to stare at the list. But based on, I'm trying to like think, uh, do the math of quality of movie uh, mixed with what Oscars love. And Oscars love giving shit to people who are old. And so I think that the clear number one choice is The Irishman. Oh, yeah. wow. They're all so old. So old, so white. They're very strong contenders. I uh, I loved how they would have very young face, but then anytime they had to like even walk across a room, they would just hobble <laughs> so stiff. Oh yeah. <laughs> By the way, these guys are all eighty-five years old. Yeah, young man They're face and an old that. man body. <laughs> young man face and an old man body. But so you, that's what that's what screws me on this movie is that I think I'll get a ton of acting noms, picture, and all that uh, CGI or special effects. Probably not. I yeah, think no. that, that <laughs> one they're going to skip on this one. Yeah, no, you're not going to get those. But you know, it's one of these movies that is doing the work of making that technology. Like one day, it's just going to be perfect. It's it's the Planet of the Apes of uh, face technology. It really is, and they're the apes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You damn dirty apes. You said damn dirty apes. But what I'm counting on is that uh, th- like everyone will have four nominees in mind for each award. Uh-huh. And then for the fifth one, I don't know, the Irishman? They're so this is going to be like best director, best picture, best actor, best supporting actor. I think two yeah. best supporting actors. Uh, do you think any of the any of the actresses in this movie will get a uh, supporting actress? I think because they were all CGI. <laughs> maybe that will help the visual effects. Um, yeah, I think that this could. This is, I think, the best chance to go double digits. Uh-huh. Do you think it was a misstep to have the um, soundtrack done by Randy Newman? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Much like Taco Bell in the future, all soundtracks are Randy <laughs> Newman. And guys, we are here in the future. Cassie. Yeah. You are up next. All right. I'm going to tell you this real quick. Irishman is taken. You cannot take that movie. Okay. Anything else is available to you. Okay. Well, your qualifications were quality of movie and what the Oscars like. Yes. Well, so, that's what I'm into. You do whatever you want. Okay. So alphabetical 1917. But also, like... I feel like they just love war, war movies. Like that they is just very love true. to see people die. Every they, year, there's a minimum one war movie. You got a war movie's gonna get something every time. So I feel I feel pretty good about the odds, and people are gonna go see it. And it, I think, in general, it does that thing a lot of war movies do, where it's like obviously its take on war is gonna be thumbs down. War is bad. <laughs> bad we shouldn't do it. But then yeah, also, that's the, that's the most said line by the character. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, war. Oof. Thumbs but down. then at the same time, it's like, but also, it's pretty epic, man. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, Did you see that fucking plane crash? You have, to, yeah, you have to think that it's bad while fucking yeah. loving well, every yeah, second dude, of just watching it. And I think stoked. you've got to lock on at least a cinematography nom. For sure. Yeah. That's, like, that's, a, that's a guaranteed at least one nom. And you know what? Based on Buzz, um, I, like, I think it'll get a lot of noms, but I think if we were doing Winners... I think it's like creeping up to take over oh, all really? of those other movies. Yeah. I kind of saw a review that seemed to indicate that it was like empty spectacle. And oh, that's Oscar. I, the Academy <laughs> loves that. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? I fucking love empty spectacle. Okay, I think I often forget like the objective of what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Cassie, so far, good pick. Go you're going to crush Taylor. No, Greg, no guys, come good. on. Greg, you're okay. now on the clock. Uh, if there is something that Hollywood loves more than war, 
it's Hollywood. And no, I think that there's a, a good chance that um, this movie, maybe it's like not totally the right political climate for it. And yet at the same time, I think it's going to get tons of nominations. Once Upon a Time... In Hollywood. In Hollywood. There's a sp- there, in 1917. You're supposed to do a pause there. Right. It's clearly in the credits, dot, dot, dot. Although some posters have, like, three dots and some have two. Yeah. I'm not sure how to handle that. I think you just, like, you have to imagine a word that would go in there, and you have to quietly to yourself say that word in the pause, and then go The way I get the perfect Hollywood. pause is I'll say once upon a time in, and then do that jump where I click my heels together, uh-huh. and then land and say Hollywood. <laughs> See, that's what's weird, because you put the pause between in and Hollywood, and that feels like that's where it should be. Oh, but it's, it's not there. once upon a time uh-huh. in Hollywood. Uh-huh. Okay, but uh, director, screenplay, best squishy sounds. Actor, supporting actor. Yeah, uh, I think. Supporting actress. Ultimately, like, and this is not to be shady towards Hollywood, but their favorite thing is when they get to go like, us, you guys, <laughs> us, right? Am I right about <laughs> us? We're, the, we're so good. I mean, like, the artist, Birdman, like, yeah. there's been bad movies that have won awards if they're just about like the entertainment industry and honestly if it's not going to win it's going to get so rewarded with nominations that this is a great pick by me third pick did you think this is what i was going to go with first pick uh no i mean i i wasn't sure what you were going to go with but i i felt like this was like i feel like there are three very strong toppies that was my next question are we done with the top tier yeah, I think that's the. I think mm, that's the. I think that's. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think that is the the very tip of the top. Well, me, Cassie, and Greg vote that we are. So yeah, democracy. <laughs> we are all shaking hands now. <laughs> very good for you, sir. Oh, yes, we're all good. signing contracts. <laughs> I don't know. Well, shit. Who's uh, that? that, that <laughs> random Muppet says no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mike. You are now in the second or maybe even third tier. What would you like to choose? <laughs> Do you know what Hollywood loves even more than war? It, it's Hollywood and Hollywood adjacent stories, and it's people screaming at each other because they think that means good acting. Do you know what Mike loves? Fucking over Ryan and taking one of his favorite directors right now. I'm going with Marriage Story. <laughs> and this taking thing, a bomb box. Yeah, I got to say that like it's directed by bomb box, but this sort of makes you like a bum butt, I would say, but just by taking this. I th- I think this is gonna get Noah Oscar noms. <laughs> oh yeah, because <laughs> wait, hold on, let's go to Taylor in the booth. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, guys, this is an uh, important pick, but uh, on the field, it looks like he's going to get no uh, Oscar bombs. Wait, so <laughs> where are we if we're going to Taylor in the booth? <laughs> we're in the booth next to him. <laughs> yeah. We're in a separate, smaller booth. It's <laughs> kind of Taylor in that VIP booth. <laughs> Ryan, I'm looking at the defense here, and it looks like they have got a lot of holes that they've got to fill. Wait, are we allowed to play defense? Like, could we have, like, smacked Mike before he picked? <laughs> yeah. So uh, if, if, if you smack me before I finish the words, I don't get that movie. You've got Marriage Store, okay? You've got some movie <laughs> called Marriage Store, and I hope it does very well. Uh, just to say something about the movie, if you guys don't mind. Uh, it could be, again, director, best picture, actor, actress. Screenplay. Here's, yeah. uh, Sondheim use of song. <laughs> The, th- the thing about Marriage Story is that I feel like it could get nominations, but the internet immediately was like, okay, why are you guys lumping praise on this movie that is just, like, bare minimum? That was fucked up. That was fucked up because what happened was people put out one or two scenes and then totally out of the context of the movie, we were – and with the idea of, like, the snarkily – like, look how bad the acting is in this scene – that's a weird way to get primed to see a scene that takes place like an hour into a movie. Yeah. Because it's actually spectacular acting if and you watch yeah, the movie. Yeah, because there's so many of his lines, so many of the lines sound absurd if you don't understand the context of them. So he's like, what about L.A.? And you're like, I don't know what that means. Yeah, because you haven't seen the movie, so you can't connect <laughs> to yeah. it. Does that mean that's that... a bad workshopping technique, guys. <laughs> but yeah, Does this I... mean that J.J. Abrams is going to direct Marriage Story 2 and make uh... all these changes? <laughs> that's, I, I just wonder if, like, I think... In a vacuum, this movie would get a lot of nominations. I wonder if public perception is going to hurt it. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think the internet has any effect on the Oscars. It's just the real yeah, actual Book world. Last year, the Oscars don't know about the internet. <laughs> I just I've seen a lot of people who I know are in the film industry who are Oscars voters who have been ragging on Marriage Story. Ooh, I've seen people who vote on Oscars. Wow. I ju- that's just what Eating I'm saying. Eating my steak taco lunches. I do yeah, think it's anyone not... Anyone can go on Twitter, It's like a normal lunch. It's not a perfect movie, and we did a show about it, and there are things about it that are weird. It is like he's playing action figures with like people that he really knew and telling his side of the story, and sometimes the performances border on clunky, but usually it's very, like interesting and you know trenchant criticism yeah. on like modern it's my love. number two movie of the year i think i think it's gonna get all the noms that 
we think it might. I think the the reason why it's second tier is because no CGI, no cinematography, no costumes. Definitely, is, definitely soundtrack though, dude. Randy Newman exists to get nominated for Oscars. That's, like, that's his only purpose in our ecosystem. I think this is. I think this is a good. <laughs> First round pick, but it's I think a pick that is it's either going to get a few like a one nomination or it's going to get like seven. How about this, bro? Put up or shut up. Why don't you do two that are better than that one? Yeah, all right, dude. fine. Yeah, all right. I'll how, do about, it. how about this? Put up and shut up. All right, cool. <laughs> Wait, put out and shut up. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so my first pick it's gonna be uh, a movie right. that I that I <laughs> that I hated in the theater uh, and have since decided is one of my favorite movies, uh, The Cats? Lighthouse. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lighthouse. Uh, I think the Lighthouse is going to get uh, cinematography because it's it shot black and white, and the, the, the lighting in it is just very, very good because it's the Lighthouse. Um, I think that it, potentially both of them are going to get actor nominations. Like they I would say one might. Yeah, well. This is a good movie, but Ryan... This is a bad pick, isn't it? This is a very bad pick. This is a bad pick. pick. No. It's too yeah, good of a I movie. Did, it's I, too weird and good. It's, it, it's, it's a really good movie, and we can have that conversation, but yeah. it's a bad pick. If it I, had blown up a little bit more, but like it came, it went, I don't know. I, don't, uh, I, I think it's bad. I think, I think it's going to do well. I think you guys are wrong. I think it's going to do very well. It's going to be the, I, the way that you said about uh, that other movie that I forget already, but it's going to be the one that they're like, ah! No, we'll put this one on. I think it's going to be the Irishman. Can we get Can we get your reading on why'd you spill your beans? <laughs> why'd you spill your beans? <laughs> it's listen. Is that the part where he I'll was watching he Oscar. was watching Cars three in the theater? Yeah, <laughs> somebody shouted that. Behind wow, him. why'd you spill your beans? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I think it's going to at least get. I think probably screenplay, uh, cinematography. Uh, I think well, it, it was all improv, so yeah. no screenplay. Uh, I would say the best lock is supporting actor. Yes, I think Willem Dafoe is. Fucking amazing! This I, movie. I think depending on what I think it's a solid like for at least two, and then I think it could go up to like five or six. Are you guys thinking right now that there's one clear fucking pick for Taylor's next pick? Yeah, for like to finish out this tier. Do you know what it is? I wanted to say yes so bad, but I have to say no. I don't know. <laughs> Mike and Greg, I'm asking you guys specifically the two of us if we know what the next pick for Taylor's going to oh, be. Are you ready, Taylor? I okay. I'm I'm ups- I'm gonna be upset if I walk right into your your plans. I'm gonna say Parasite. Okay, that is not the pick. That's gonna get one nom. No, uh, round, no way. No, absolutely not. It's gonna get screenplay. It's gonna be get yeah. best foreign language. Do you know film? how the Academy treats foreign movies? It's yeah. gonna get one nom. It's gonna get best foreign language film. Listen, everyone fucking loved Parasite. I've been for hearing, sure. I've been it's here. The, it's the best movie of the year. I agree with is that. I'm a, not saying it's a bad movie. It's an amazing movie. But the Academy is gonna give it one nomination. No, absolutely not. It's going to get at least screenplay and best foreign film. It's going to get uh, at least one actor nomination. It's I, gonna no, get be- that part's not true. It's gonna get a best picture, not. right? Because yes. they can do like it's ten. Best picture, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. going to get Best Picture. It, I think this is going to do it. Director? I think yes. picture, director, screenplay. I would love for the dad. I think this is a minimum four movie pick. I or hope or this movie gets pick. respect. <laughs> right? Everybody who saw Parasite, respect. I think this guy knows what I didn't about. see it, but I saw the preview for the Aretha Franklin movie, Respect. Yes. And I hope that trailer <laughs> is in it. Honestly, I hope that they treat Jennifer Hudson better in that movie than Cats did. <laughs> uh, you know, I think Parasite is a very good pick, and you guys are stupid. I think it's a good pick, too. It's so much better than The Lighthouse. But I think you served up, Mike, a fucking meatball. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. We'll now see. I don't want to biff it. That scares me. I fuck. It's mind games, baby. Yeah, dude. I know. That's next All level right. stuff. Do you? Okay. So Cassie got the war, but the Oscars war. love people who are from nowadays dressing up from people in the olden times, motherfucker. Yeah. And they love adaptations because they love to be able to say, I read that. And they love this new Hollywood darling named Greta Gerwig. I'm taking Little Women. Yeah. Greta Gerwig, who... Is is dating Noah Baumbach? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like that couple, well, like, they have a baby together. Like, yeah. Yeah. Together. I mean, okay, they're a family. Greta but, Gerwig is the reason for marriage story. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Ooh. the two of them made these two movies in the same year. Man, that's kind of hot. You guys. Yeah. <laughs> that's like. But it's also both of them are like we shouldn't get married. We shouldn't be together. That's the thesis of both of the movies. But right. Let's not take this away from Taylor. Sure, Mike has Marriage Story and Little Women. But I bet the two directors of Lighthouse and Parasite have like kissed or something. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, th- I think Just Eggers and Bong Joon Ho have like smashed their testicles together. Yeah, they they've like they've like gay sexes. <laughs> they, they've like taped their dicks together at one point. <laughs> you get I hate bored. those parties. Yeah, uh, this was uh, if I didn't pick those two, this was my next on my list of picks. I think this is a good pick for Mike. Do you want to switch out Lighthouse for Little Women? That no. would be a good strategy. It's like, I know. I don't, we're not allowed to do that, right? No. A slam dunk for adaptation. Uh, best yeah. director. Actress is interesting because 
only one actress did good. Or two. Only two. One, one lead, one supporting. Yeah. But two other supportings that didn't do great are Meryl Streep and Laura Dern. Might they just get a nomination because they're them? Yeah, they are who they are. That's Popeye. That is an interesting pitch. If there is a knock on this movie, it is that while nobody delivers a terrible performance, two of the actors are going absolutely crazy and delivering like two of the best performances of all time, and everybody else is left in the fucking background. Like there's like, Mm -hmm. and and for the audience, the two who are doing very good are uh, Florence Pugh and. What's her face? Sorcha, so, Cher, 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 Cher Sharon, Cersei Ronan. Yeah, like, but there's scenes where like Emma, Emma Watson's supposed to respond. Yeah, to Florence Pugh will say, and she'll stop and just be like, "God damn, I can't do that." God like, damn, she's insane. The disparity between what it is to be alive in a scene, like that's what we always talk about. Like, if you can see a, an actor doing the work, you can't see them doing anything. They are just like so alive. And then you have people who are like working very hard and doing a good job in those same scenes. Emma Watson being one of them. Like real workman like stuff, but right. it's just the disparity there is so apparent. Like but the talent. It, it seems like they walked in thinking like, oh, we're just making like a mainstream Christmas movie. Let's all just like get this done <laughs> and go home. And no, there's other people in there. These Mike. girls are playing really hard. <laughs> good pick, Mike. Great. Thank you. Now we're in like fifth tier. Now we're all fucked. Okay. This is where you start being like, am I going to pick the movies that I really love that are true to Greg? Or are you going to pick the ones that you think are going to be hey, Hollywood be true to Greg. darlings? I say be true to Greg. And I am I'm setting an intention out there in the universe, and this might be crazy, but I'm going to go with The Farewell. Uh, the Farewell, it still, I think, is still the best movie of 2019. Uh, and it's beautifully shot, and I think it's got a real chance for writer, director... Best picture. Here's the big one, though. When we, the three of us did a, me, you, and Mike did a booty show on this. Yeah. The year, and we were like, imagine a world where the grandma got Best Supporting Actress. Yeah. Since that, probably because of our show, it's almost a lock for a nomination. Oh, wow. I'm glad we thanks had Thanks to us. Thanks <laughs> to us. <laughs> the white men really did it for everybody there. Good for <laughs> us, guys. Do, using their only thing they can to affect any kind of change, which is the podcast, the instrument of white maildom. <laughs> Unfortunately, no Best Director. She's a girl. But I think a lot of other nominations could happen. Okay. Yeah. I And I I really like this movie. And I think this was like a great movie, a great year for movies. And if anything, I'm worried about just that part of it. Just that it might get left at the altar. But I think it certainly deserves to be up there. One of the few movies that I was able to watch twice from this year and then still went up in my... Like, yeah. I, like, I can't believe how much more I liked it. And usually they're just going to go down because everything's stupid. Well, here's one thing that I might think might work against it. It came. It feels like it came out a long time ago. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know? Summer. Little Women just fucking came out. And, like, it was so awesome. Can we, though? I made that. I said that like, you can't get nominated for director because the girl. But, like, can we? Do you think that now it might get a little boost? Because Asian and, like, female-oriented. Is that going to help it out now? I... I I don't know. I think that's like is supposed to be like it's just wishful thinking. Yeah, but then it, yeah, like we're like, oh look, that that's totally gonna happen, and then it's just no. I mean, it just representation still gets left behind so much of the time. But and you guys thought Lighthouse was a bad pick. <laughs> <laughs> this is still better than Lighthouse. That, yeah, that was your first pick, dum dum. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got two. I could see this one being a, a movie that pulls in a whole bunch, a whole bunch of the the, nom- the nominations, and then wins very little of them. And here's the important part: I can't see it as a movie that pulls in zero. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I can't say that about everyone else's pick so far. Just one in particular. Jesus. It's the I'm talking about the lighthouse. <laughs> the lighthouse. The lighthouse. Yeah, right, 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 you, right. you guys are wrong about the lighthouse. I'm telling you right now. It's but everybody agrees it's a it's an excellent film. Yeah, and yes. and you guys are wrong. Cassie, Castastic, Cassiopeia, Casio Keyboard, you are up next. What are you gonna do? Um, so I've I'm now officially gonna go with just what with what I liked and what I want now. So it's feel like it's early in the game for that, but I'm just gonna do it. After the one pick, After now the it's just one, whatever now you want. I'm just gonna throw yeah. it all away. But I do like this is the one that I want. I really hope it gets like the director's pick. I'm gonna go with Jojo Rabbit. Because yeah. I did really enjoy this movie and like I want more of like uh Waikiki out there. Because I feel like he takes like it's just very enjoyable, but it did still hit incredibly hard in theaters. Like it, the opening scene was very strong where like, I was like, Oh, can I be like, can I watch this and be okay? And then uh-huh. like, it took a complete turn and I really enjoyed it. So picture for sure. Picture. Yeah. I've heard supporting actor buzz for the for little him. kid, for that little kid with the glasses. Who's clearly the lead though. Right. But he's yeah. too young to be best yeah. actor. Uh-huh. Uh, best screenplay. Probably not best director. I've yeah. heard some Scarlett Johansson buzz. I've heard uh-huh. she's, 
better that, than in this than she is in Marriage Story. That that oh, is, really? that is, I've heard the same thing. Like I've heard people like effusively praising Scarlett Johansson in this movie. She is really good in it. The uh I wonder if that'll split her votes though. Between this and Marriage Story. Yeah, does that happen if you're really, like, you you do a good job that, in two movies? I think it's more likely that... That's happened to Amy Adams several times in the past. Every year. She's just, yeah. stop being in so many good movies, Amy Adams. <laughs> uh, I think it's more likely that, like, Pesci and Pacino split votes yeah. than Scarlett Johansson would for two different characters. I don't yeah. know. Do you, do you worry about that for Endgame, too? That maybe, like, she's splitting her votes a third way with Endgame? <laughs> what if that was the movie she got nominated for? <laughs> she would Fuck. get so upset. That would be so offensive to her. <laughs> the way How you tackled Jeremy Renner just really pulled her heartstrings. Hey, all of America wants to tackle Jeremy Renner, so. Yeah. You committed really fucker. dope suicide. I can't be alive anymore, you guys. Goodbye. <laughs> I, well, I think it's a good pick, Cassie, and I definitely think that like you're continuing the trend of picking movies better than The Lighthouse, so Go congratulations. Ahead. Cool. Uh, Sorry, Taylor. <laughs> but that leaves for me, JoJo Kirk. And uh, really, I, mm, I I'm a surprise boy. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Buddy. Mark me down. And really, I, yeah, I think that this is the time. This is like, remember what we thought that like Logan was going to take over? Yeah, like, everybody was like too soon. This is when it happens. No, Trump but, loves it. Listen. That's a big boost to everyone. <laughs> Ryan, I know that I am historically very bad at this game and you are very good. This is a dumb pick for you. Taylor, do you want to make a side bet about Lighthouse versus Joker nominations? You know what? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I will make that bet. I think the Lighthouse is going to get more nominations than Joker. How about if you win, then I have to tuck in my shirt every day for a month. And if I win, you can't tuck in your shirt for a month. You know what? Uh, fair. Let's shake on it. Hell no. I would never tuck in my shirt. <laughs> yeah, you could That's never insane. do the okay. tucked in lifestyle. The, the, the shirt thing is insane. That's too close to the sun. But what if it's if, if Taylor wins, Ryan's not allowed to drink before we record. If Ooh. Ryan wins, Taylor has to drink a Ryan amount before we record. We don't want to see oh, a no. shake. Oh, we don't want to see a shaky Ryan yeah. or a totally soused Taylor. Oh, boy. Or a shaky Taylor. <laughs> Um, I think it's a good pick. I think best picture, screenplay, actor. I think it's going to win best actor. Are you fucking kidding me? And I think it's uh, potentially best director. Wow. I'm not fucking around here, guys. I guess I should see this movie. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it makes it into the don't. moody season, the th- then maybe. But Here's the thing. The fact that you said, I don't think you need to see it. I think this is a d- I think it made a lot of money. Green book. Yeah. Green book. <laughs> Crash. Crash. The don't Green do good. book. It's not quality. Green book. Right. But I. this is not even close to like even trying to do what those other movies were doing. This, I think this is a dumb pick. Also, here's the other thing, too, is that uh, ever since Titanic, which is, I know, 20 years ago, got the biggest ratings in Oscar history, and then nobody watches anymore, ever since Dark Knight did not get nominated for Best Picture, and then they opened it up to 10 movies so that people will watch the Oscars, they've been trying to jam in huge movies there. Okay. This is the, of all the huge movies, this is like the most, I guess, we like it. I think yeah. this is like I think it's going to get multiple nominations. And a lot of people who aren't us were blown away by this movie. Like really blown away. Like, oh my god, that was crazy good. So And those people uh, could infiltrate the Academy think it is doing what Taylor said Crash and Green Book are trying to do. That everybody's like, nobody's talked about mental health the way Joker has. Yeah. Even though it's <laughs> I think you can rationalize empty it. Shell. Right. I think it like I think it said mental health conversation back forty years, but I think you can say like, look at all, all the good stuff it's doing. I if if this gets a ton of Oscar nominations, I am going to weep. <laughs> weep. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna see if Taylor does weep, and when we come back, <laughs> my third round pick. So we took a break, and everybody tried their hardest to make me feel bad about picking Joker, saying it would get zero nominations, and that ba- basically You're, I am like Joker. Y- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're the clown prince of crime. If it gets zero. <laughs> what a good read. <laughs> <laughs> if it gets zero and it won't, then I'm going to make up for it with this next pick. Because I know that most of the Oscar voters are old white men. That's true. And what do they love? They love not just Fords, not just Ferraris, but when they fight <laughs> each other. I thought, I didn't think anybody was going to take this. This was my lock-in. I'm so devastated oh, yeah. right now. Here's why I think this is a really good pick. This is a fucking paint by numbers movie, and it does it hits those numbers pretty effectively. Uh, has anybody else seen it? Because I know. it is a movie ass movie, and clearly the whole time it's like this is a true story. And every single scene, you're like, that's not how that happened. <laughs> but uh, there's like race cars, and Christian Bale does a really good performance. I think that this is a, a pretty solid pick. Actually. Here's what I have going for me. I think America. 
Yeah, dude. Yep. Every yeah. day. And two, um, yeah, and dude, all those sound effects are going to get nominations. If, people at home, if you liked that sound effect, go check out this movie because there's that and even more. Here's, here's the thing that I think you have going against you. The Oscars don't like V movies. Like... In, uh, in anything v anything they just don't like them kramer v kramer yeah they're like mm. v, v, v vendetta they're like this is the academy not the supreme court get on out of here that is in vain <laughs> yeah. you get right on out of here hey why hey, hit the bricks buddy <laughs> i think it's great so screw you taylor <laughs> the thing you just picked yeah it's it, it's just so conventional it really is i think it's a really good time for an uncomplicated movie like this also if we had a Meryl Streep, Amy Adams for boys. It's Christian Bale. I, yeah. could, I could just like walk into Anami right there. That's true. All right, Cassie. Ford versus Ferrari is off the table. It's Where honestly, are you going to go? It's super devastating to me, and all I have left in life now is Hobbs versus Shaw. So <laughs> what's up, you guys? I you? Got, you got, yeah, it's the only car thing I have left. You took Fuck my car. Yeah, Hobbs versus it. Shaw. Write I'm it down. It. It's on there. <laughs> you, you brought a new me to the table. <laughs> Maybe she'll get some techies. Uh, I'm trying to be nice there's, to Cassie because it's nothing. her first year. You don't got to be nice. It's fine. There's, no, uh, the, I... This is her. This is her Power Rangers, and I respect That's it so right. goddamn much. Thank you, Taylor. God, and this is, let got, me, this is Fast got, and Furious presents. Yeah, universe. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. it's just it worked out well for like but national. If, if you could get with he, you put the vote down because you get vroom. I got double the vroom for sure. I got <laughs> different vroom sounds and of vroom. Shop room. <laughs> got a bunch of room in that. This I, is a deeply absurd pick. <laughs> of course, it just got, it's just worth mentioning so that somebody says it. I mean, I thought it was a first rounder until uh, Taylor brought up the hate V movies. This is Hobbs v Shaw. Like <laughs> it's gonna lose. <laughs> this movie is nonstop cringe. This is the yeah. cringiest acting in the history of cinema. And honestly, that's kind of I think part of its charm. It's not a movie without charms. Speaking of V, though, it does have Vanessa Shaw. Yes, whose dude. name starts with a V? Is that's what true. I'm trying to say, uh, I don't know, maybe a sporting actress. <laughs> oh, we don't got to try to like justify <laughs> okay, it. It's okay, we can guys. move right so, on. I yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, Greg Hobbs v Shaw is off the board. Okay. What are you going to do? Hold on, let me cross out Hobbs v Shaw <laughs> okay. real quick. Uh, I just have to. I guess now I have a, a choice of picking a movie I've seen or or just some that I've only heard of, and I guess we're kind of in the only heard of care- category. So I am going to say. Uncut You gems. son of a bitch! You goddamn son of a there bitch! There has been a lot of buzz. I could see a director. I could see Adam Sandler getting one. Uh, it just because of how much I've heard people talking about it. Um, and frankly, with this pick, you guys, I think this is how I win. I don't know how he says it <laughs> in the movie. I've only read it online, but this is this is how, this is how I win. So I other people are doing a Mary story. You're doing two uncut gems. Yeah, exactly. Just meme like, it up. I, I don't, I, like, this is not a first round pick, but I think this could be a sleeper. Like, this was going to be my next pick. I think it could get director. It could get screenplay. It could get editing. I think it's definitely, it might be a lot for score. Uh-huh. Uh, and I, Adam Sandler could get a fucking nomination for this movie. It's an outside bet, but he could do it. If there was an award that was like, New York was kind of like a character in the movie, then it would be, you, it would nail that one down. Yeah. If, if there was an award for best use of character actors you've never seen anywhere else but are so fucking New York, it would be this movie. Uh, Mike Francesa? Yeah. yeah. In it. Sports. Not as himself. He plays a character in the movie. And it's only because he talks like New York just comes out of his voice, right? Yeah. Yeah. He sounds like an old cabbie. <laughs> um, and yeah, nothing... Like this movie, uh, it, it happened a little bit in Good Time. Their their like other movie before, but this movie, I have never felt like I was having an active panic attack oh, yeah. watching a movie. It's awful to watch, and it's in mo- the best way possible. And it's a and it's a movie that made me care about fucking sports games. Mm-hmm. Which like what the fuck? How do you do that? <laughs> sports games. Sports games. Sports games. Ga- <laughs> games of sports. You guys now understand why it's crazy that I care. Competitive games of athletics. Maybe you've heard of them or parlay wrestling. Did you, know, did you know what a parlay was before this, Taylor? Um, uh, you know what? I did because I watched Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm. Yeah, he's read a lot of fantasy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go have a little conversation in the middle of the fight with Kevin Garnett. Yeah. All right, Mike, you are up next. Is it the time to play it safe and just get like a solid I know two? I know still- the wild. Babe Ruth and Pit I think now is the time to be a coward. Yeah, here's the thing. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. I'm going to be a coward on this one, guys. Uh, I'm going to lock in my two safely with my third round pick. I'm going to get Frozen 2, you son get of animated, bitch! and get Song. Also, because I know Taylor, so of course he would try to go for this. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm taking Frozen Two off the table. Fuck! I am looking at my list, and I am <laughs> with its uh, hit song. Continue to let it go. Yes. Yeah. Keep on, keep on letting it go. Don't grab it again. Yeah. <laughs> I th- I think it, I think it's going to get uh, it, it's going to get a nomination for animated feature and yeah. and probably for visual effects because they invented the new technology for water that looks very good. I have heard that it's not going to get a nomination for animated feature. Really? That there are five buzzier pictures. That seems outrageous what? to me. Don't you, don't you have to? Aren't you obligated by law? To nominate Frozen 2? Yeah. Yeah. Or else Disney comes and breaks your kneecaps. Taylor, yeah. you've got two. I've got two. You guys, <laughs> here's the thing. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one for me and one for them. Uh-huh. Alright? Okay. And the one for and this me. This is gonna put Cassie back in the running. <laughs> it might. Here's the thing. I'm gonna take the one for me and I'm gonna say Alita Battle Angel, you guys. <laughs> that yeah, was Taylor. this year. It was <laughs> this year. And the, you know what? The visual effects were very good. I don't think it will get any other nominations, but I think it is a lock for one visual this effects is, nomination. Some of these picks are disrespectful to the whole process, Ryan. I have to say. Do you see how I like, have to say. me winning every year is not that Yeah, valuable. Here's like, the thing. <laughs> you guys didn't see Alita Battle Angel. I did see Alita Battle Angel. <laughs> it was I a good movie. It. You well, fuck you. It was a good movie. It's the, ki- Greg saw it's the kind of movie Alita the Battle. Academy strives to ignore. Yeah. And yes. <laughs> okay, it's a bad choice. <laughs> I regret it immediately. Uh, and my next pick is going to be, uh, your for them pick by for them pick is going to be hustlers. I'm, I think that's one. Yeah. I, I think, yeah. It, I think it's, I think it's, a, I think it's a safe one. It could get up to three. Yeah. It's a wild See, year. I'm not like offended by that pick. <laughs> Yeah, that was. Yeah, I'm now offended on behalf of hustlers. That, that sounded real. No, it made angel. it sound like everybody's equally competing. But like he could yeah. have taken hustlers an entire round before that, and yeah. then instead to put <laughs> decided to put Alita above it. Yeah, no, I want to make I want to make sure that hustlers knows where I feel about yeah. Alita in my heart. This is just a, a quality movie. It, it's, it's engrossing so from it. beginning to end. Yeah, yeah I, I I think it. Listen, I gotta, I gotta get one. This is how I win. <laughs> <laughs> I, I respect think... it so much, Taylor. <laughs> Thank you. No, it, it's Thank a solid you. pick. It's a See, solid pick. Me and Cassie, we understand each other, <laughs> and we know how to play the game for fun, not for winning. Was Was Cardi B deeply bad in this movie? She was. She Cardi had B's Gina deeply Carano, bad. <laughs> Thanks for hiring me. Yeah. Sort of vibe. Yeah. I'm going to say the things you wrote down. <laughs> I'll walk out to the stage, and I'll say the things you wrote down. Also, I will say a lot of things you did not write down. Yeah, I, dude. Which yeah. She like oh, dresses we- down a bouncer in the movie, and that's just Cardi B. <laughs> Somebody just Yeah, they just her. kept the camera rolling, <laughs> yelling about craft services. Mike, you were up next. Uh, I'm going to do a one for me, but I think it's a one for me that also has potential to get uh, maybe director, maybe a supporting, maybe script, uh, maybe Sondheim. I'm going to go with Knives Out. Okay. I was wondering about this one. Um, it's certainly, it, it's a fun movie, uh, and it does a really good job, like, I don't know, representing the genre, but I just wondered if it was going to be, like, too genre to mm. actually have an impact on That's, anybody. I think the thing about this movie is that it is wildly entertaining, but it is such a Ryan Johnson, I'm going to distill this genre that you like into its barest elements and have fun with it. And I, I'm going to also uh, probably release it right around Rise of Skywalker comes out. So yeah, you remember that, like, yeah. I'm good at my job. It's uh, shady. It's a shady thing to do. I, I really enjoyed Knives Out, and then I have stopped thinking about it entirely since I watched it. I think it's a solid 8 out of 10 movie, and it, it's fine. That's very good. Yeah, that's a know, high score. Yeah, that's really good. No, no, no. I absolutely loved it, but I don't think it's going to get a lot of nominations. My big fear is that it's sixth place for a lot of awards. Yes. So you'd, yeah. you, you're close, but you didn't get any. If something happens and it just gets bumped up a little bit, it could get a ton of nominations. That, yeah, that's true. Like if someone uh, associated with one of the other movies says something like problematic. Right. Then, yeah. <laughs> knives up, baby. Um, but like if, if it gets Martin one nomination, it, it should movies. be Daniel Craig, right? That's uh, Best Supporting Actor. I, no, I think it would be Anna Darmus. For Best Supporting Actor? Well, for Best Actor. I, 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 th- I thought she was great. She was great, but she's not the kind of great the Academy goes for. She's for not best, best but, lead. But she was in Blade Runner twenty forty nine, and oh, I think yeah, they I go. think they okay. owe her for that. <laughs> yeah, 
They're like, wait, this will upset Taylor if we don't give this to her. Exactly. So I think I think I think she deserves it. This movie has Tony Collette in it, and she's just trying to go back to being a normal actress. And I think that ship has sailed. Yeah. No. <laughs> Honestly, you, like she's just a deeply scary figure now, like, and I'm I don't so- think I can ever undo it. I'm, I'm sorry, Tony Collette, but you have to be Tony Collette <laughs> yeah, forever now. You're just gonna have to be Hereditary Lady for like the rest of your career because everyone's really scared. That's. I think if I think Would if that they... have been fucked up though if she was just Hereditary Lady in this movie. <laughs> just yeah. Just like stuck up on the wall like that, yeah, for sure, sawing <laughs> off her own head. That's, yeah, dude, that would have been too much. Ryan Johnson's really playing with genres. Here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think I might think that this movie was going to get uh, even more nominations if they kept Tony Collette more in the second act of the movie uh-huh. and Jamie Lee Curtis in the second act of the movie. But most of the characters just kind of drop away a little bit, and I think that hurts it a little bit. Also, this is the movie that, uh, along with Watchmen officially declares Don Johnson is a racist piece yeah, of dude. shit, oh, yeah. right? That, it's just a fact. <laughs> Absolutely. He didn't know they were filming. <laughs> like Cardi B. He's just being himself. Yeah, he's the Cardi B. Of Where Don movie. Johnson dresses down that bouncer at the strip club. Uh, all right, Greg, you are up next. Okay. I feel like I still have some spicy meat to balls here. Yeah, there's uh, been some dumb picks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in there and just get a, a quality movie. And I'm going to say I'm going to do... Mm, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right. Uh, really? I think there are many better movies than this, but I just think it's right in that it's like sweet spot of what Hollywood actually likes. Kind of like pap and nice and tells us everything is going to be okay and makes us feel like stirred. I think that's enough to get some good nominations on this one. When I said that uh, if there was a boy version of Meryl Streep or Amy Adams, I probably should have said Tom Hanks. Yeah. yeah, Probably the actual one. So that's a guaranteed right Uh, there. Whenever you got that Tom Hanks card. The the thing that I've heard, though, is that he's just, like, fine in it. Yeah. I I would say the movie's fine. I would say he is spectacular. Oh, really? Yeah. Eh. There's a couple of moments where... It's, I mean, it's not like end of Captain Phillips, where you're right. just like, what the fuck where is he's this? like, actually, I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back to being the captain again. But yeah, I think it's a good pick. Uh, Cassie, you're up. All right. That was, um, that was actually going to be my pick, just because I felt like it was had a little bit of a shot. So I'm going to throw out um, Just Mercy, because I feel like oh. it might be... My only hope there, I feel like, is supporting actor with Michael B. And yeah. I don't know, but that's just my guess. There's Jamie Foxx buzz. There's, ja- yeah. there's a little. There's, there's a little. I've, I've heard a B-movie amount of buzz yeah. for, for Jamie Foxx. <laughs> that's the most amount <laughs> of yeah, buzz. Yeah, dude, that sounds have. like a lot of buzz, I have to say. Uh, have you seen B-movie? They don't buzz that much. <laughs> well, then they got that wrong Yeah, in uh, B-movie. That's why it didn't you know win what? any awards, Greg. They should go back and do another cut of B-movie. Release the B-movie cut with more buzz. <laughs> re- re- release <laughs> that's that's what I demand. Cut. Yeah. Re- release the Snyder cut yeah. of B-movie. I want everything to be like... And everyone be like, what? I can't hear you on account of the loud buzzing. Being bees and all. All right. I have my last two picks. Oh, boy. And I've been convinced that I'm going to lose thanks to the Joker. Uh-huh. Agent of Chaos. And so I think I'm just going to wrap up my team with as many of those nominations as I can. Yeah. And I'm going to take the end of Avengers and the end of Star Wars. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That, those, those, those are movies that will maybe get. Like one They're going to get the loudies, each. as we've called them yeah. in years yeah. past. I think they'll get four each, because of the how f- fucking loud they are. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely with Star Wars, you're going to get John Williams. And say whatever you want about any of the Star Wars films, but John Williams was always fucking holding it down, you yeah. guys. Uh-huh. You know, he's great in this, uh, but you'll definitely get the nomination there. Uh, yeah, I think that if I can get eight in my last two... Yeah, and yeah. we already said, that's, we already that's, said that's Scarlett that's Johansson happen. is Best Supporting Actress for Black Widow. So I, I I think it's I, great. I think these last two picks are a maximum of four, but like a, a minimum of one. So a like maximum of four. Uh, yeah. I think you're forgetting how many loudies there are, Taylor. Yeah. There's so many awards that like no, Jason listen. Siegel is the host of that we get to see like <laughs> those the don't count. No, 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 those don't count. Oscars. Listen, as someone who always picks for the loudies, I remember how many loudies there are, and I I think these are a fine number. And just so we know, we're all clear. Uh, the, that other award show, all the technical awards, Jason Siegel never is. It's just uh, a very young, smoking hot girl. Yeah. That they throw in with all those yeah, nerds. Yeah, they're like, hey, nerds, <laughs> this is our, you can't come to our real party. But, but here's we'll what s- Anna Kendrick smells like. <laughs> we'll send, <laughs> we'll send one of our prettiest ladies. All right, so, uh, loudies are taking up. Cassie, this is your final pick. Final one. I'm going to bring it home so strong right now. Um, 
I'm going to go with Detective Pikachu because I don't know Hell if you guys yeah. know this. Cassie, I love the way you play this game. <laughs> Thank you. I think She's I'm winning gonna, the Taylor Award of the Year. I'm doing really good, but you guys, Pokemon aren't real, so all of those were CGI'd. <laughs> what the fuck? What? His little hat couldn't stay on him either, so that was double CGI on there. <laughs> so I feel like I got a pretty strong contender with uh, just CGI. I, I agree. It's at least I one. I agree. Right? This is a good pick. Thank you. Thanks, this is Taylor. a good pick, Cassie. <laughs> just so I was watch and learn. Look at me in the eye and say it. <laughs> Cassie? This is a great pick. Thank you. Thank Just you. so everybody knows, a typical movie of the year episode has me, Mike, and Greg, and not Taylor and Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> That's who's on those shows. Greg, you're up with your final pick. All right. I have three movies left on my list here. I have not seen any of them. Perfect. I saw, I've saw. i seen the preview of all three. And, Are any about the Holocaust? Uh, nothing is about the Holocaust. I'm going to go with G's. Uh, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Portrait of a Lady! <laughs> I have not seen this movie, but I would like to see this movie. Uh, what is this movie? It is about uh, two women, one of whom is an artist who has to like secretly paint the portrait of the other woman, who's like a, r- a rich woman's daughter and is very like troubled and troubling. And is that portrait she paints on fire, or is she painting a picture of a lady that is on fire? Uh, you're going to have to see the movie and uh, tell me, but uh, it's just a movie I've heard bandied about a this, lot. Yeah, I mean, this is at the top of so many critics' lists. Yeah, yeah. so I just it's, figured... It feels like the silent, like, this is a very good movie that not a lot of people are talking about, and I, like, maybe it picks up a bunch. I think it's about two women back in the olden days suffering with longing for each other very yeah. badly. And then also, like, shots of, like, cliffs above the sea yeah. and everything. And, and the Oscars love both of those things. Uh-huh. They love longing and cliffs of the sea. My guess is two, because it's now called Best International Film. Okay. And it's, like, one of the... Outside of Parasite, I would say it's the biggest. And then something else. Like, then they'll just throw some random nomination. Yeah, like the score. Or, or yeah. costumes, you know? Like, it's yeah. a period piece. Something to, to do me a little something-something. More than Detective Pikachu? What? I think even more than Detective Pikachu. <laughs> Which is also a Both. costume. I think drama. this might be a three yeah. Pokemon race, you guys. <laughs> Mike, you're up. Uh, I'm also going to go with the Critics' Choice, uh, and I've not seen this movie. I'm going to go with the Last Black Man in San Francisco. Yeah, that's a good good pick. The I have to say, of all the trailers I watched, this one was the coolest trailer that I saw. Like very engrossing, and it looks a like trailer. a very cool movie. Just haven't seen it, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are you thinking as far as nominations go, though? Director. Director, maybe supporting. It's one of those movies where, like, well, we want to give it something to show people we care about art still. Okay. And then they give, like, two or three. Taylor, this is your final one. Yep. Here we go. This is my pick. All right. Uh, fuck it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a thing that I'm surprised no one has, has picked because I think it's a lock for at least one nom. Uh, Toy Story 4. That that's pretty. I thought you were gonna go cats, oh, yeah. but that's a really good pick. No, uh, it, no, absolutely not. The, the the fact that the studio stopped even pushing for Oscars consideration for cats, I was like, I'm not gonna. It this, would be a very they me stopped pick. pushing. The studio said no. it would be upset if you nominated it. Yeah, I love that. Uh, but yeah, I Toy Story four. It's gonna get at least like uh, animated feature. Like it, it's got at least one. It might get like original song and like something else. I don't know what it was, but I'm assuming there was one. Right. Yeah. That, that's nominated. the thing. I didn't see the movie. I assume there's an original song in it. Cause Disney always puts an original song. Toy Story 4. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, I think it's going to get like at least one, maybe up like the maximum is three, but it's in the last round. You may have, had the one with the most nominations. When we come back, we're going to go over all the teams and get the fuck out of here. All right, we're back. I'm going to go over all of the teams, and uh, we're going to decide how we all did. We're going to make little predictions about the nominations. Cassie, because you're the guest, I'm going to start with you. Yeah. Your team is uh, 1917. That was good pick. It all made sense back then. Very good pick. (laughs) Very good pick. JoJo Rabbit. Yep. Yeah, still doing it. Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. That's when she disrespected our dojo. <laughs> Definitely. Just Mercy and Detective Pikachu. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. How many yeah. are we thinking that Cassie's going to get? Twelve. Twelve. All for nine, or what the fuck? Nine for the seven. first two picks. Yeah. yeah. It's the only way. I'm going to... I think twelve's a pretty good guess. I think twelve yeah. is, yeah. That's yeah. a good guess. Let's go with twelve. I'm really good when I don't think about things. Is, <laughs> is 47 an absurd number? No. I feel really good about 47. That I'm 47. Cassie, yeah. the thing I appreciate about you is that you believe in yourself. Thank yeah, you. dude. Yeah, thank you. Let's go with Taylor next. Yeah. He's got The Lighthouse. Yep. And Parasite. Yeah. 
Alita Battle Angel. Yeah, absolutely. Hustlers and Toy Story 4. The, the later into the draft it got, the better he did. I think it's 11. <laughs> Not trying to be a dick. I just think that I th- I, I'm looking at 11 here. Guys, I know that I historically have let you down. I think you're underestimating me. Eight. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think it's a, that seems pointed and hurtful. <laughs> Do we do more than Cassie or less than Cassie? I think slightly less than Cassie. I think it's. I wow. Think okay. Cool. cool even cool, with cool, her cool, two cool. absolute fumbles. Cool. 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 cool, cool Which she cool. did just to make Taylor feel worse. Two cool, cool, cool. of the least respectful picks in the history of the draft. Yeah. Mike, you started out with Marriage Story and Little Women. Mm-hmm. Frozen Two, Knives Out, and Last Black Man. I. You might have a really good. No, yeah. that's a solid third. Twenty nine. I was thinking twenty five. Yeah, I'll take twi- that. that's a Ryan compliment. <laughs> Twenty five sounds pretty solid, but more than Cassie and Taylor combined. That's what we have to. Yeah, keep in mind. That's, you guys are so wrong. I do think they should count as one team <laughs> with ten movies. <laughs> yeah, um, Greg, you had Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yep. The Farewell. Yep. Uncut Gems. Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood and Portrait of a Lady on Fire. I'm gonna say that that is a 33, 33. nom pick. Yeah. Wow. I think you have one heavy hitter. Uh, I think I would say like 23. Anybody uh, else? I will accept 30. 18. <laughs> I'm 18? I'm gonna, uh, Mike, I'm going to beat you, bud. Do no, you, you want to not. insist on a number, Greg? If you say insist, I have to. No, I, I would never insist on anything. Uh, uh, what do you think it's going to be? I was th- thinking 23. Fewer than Mike? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I know the Oscars, baby. I don't think there's uh, only the balls like. How about 25, which is what Mike got? The only actual competition is between me and Mike. Everything else is just already settled. <laughs> the right, top and the bottom is settled. So it's that just, seems rude. It's just me and Mike, and I, that that's, I find Who's it. number two? Who's number two? So 25. That's what Mike got. All okay. right. And then my team is the Irishman, Joker, <laughs> Fast versus Fear. No, Ford versus Ferrari, uh-huh. Avengers Endgame, and uh, Rise of Skywalker. Ryan, I think you fucked up. I don't think so. I think this is a wonderful list. No, I, I look at that and I think you might you you could be middle of the pack. You might be last place. I'm thinking thirty easy. Thirty sounds right. That's insane to me. That's a nonsense. I twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't you think I could be last place. Yes, absolutely. I don't think, no, there's no way he could be last place. <laughs> I could see something crazy He's, happening and me or Mike winning. Yeah. Uh, because your pay- just because your picks are so different than what I thought they would be, but I still don't think it's- I understand fully the criteria. Like, here's the thing: as someone who picked loudies every year, I I guarantee those last two picks are going to be dead. But your loudies were like Power Rangers. No, no, but I I also picked loudies that were like legit loudies. And they did bad. Like, go real loud. Don't so, you think they're going to get like special effects for I, yeah, both that's, of those movies? I think, also, I think I they might get the, one each. It, cut one each. Yeah. I, I, I picked them at the end of the draft with five people. Yeah, and you also picked Joker second. Buddy, I, th- I think you might have no, fucked up. No, no, no. I am so glad no, that no, we no. always make sure we go back. And check what we said and review it. We do. We uh, it will all be on a superhero hour hour. Yeah, but we will do the results next week on superhero. Uh, so that's it, guys. Taylor. Yeah. Uh, tell us about a website to go to. Uh, you should go to yourpopfilter.com. It's a website where you can find all of pretty much everything you need to know about us as people. Uh, as uh, uh, got friends. our social security on there. Absolutely. I've got my Home I got my dang address. Old blood type. You want you want some O positive? I got it. I'm not allowed to give blood because I'm anemic, but you can come for it. <laughs> Thank you, Cassie. Tell us about three podcasts. Three podcasts. There is the OCD, where they take a episode by episode look at the seminal hit TV show, The OC, <laughs> and uh, Superhero curious. Hour Hour, where uh, they review every TV show based on comic book or comic book property. And movie of the year. No, we're on movie of the year. Oh, so we're don't do the other one. The other one. Riders the most block. Important. Nope, not Riders no, Block. Come on, Cassie. That's dead. Yours. Taylor talking Taylor. Think hard. Nope. Taylor yeah. talking Taylor. Come on, Cassie. <laughs> Where do you shine the hardest, Cassie? There's another one. It's be yours, the one you're, you're on. You're on it every <laughs> week, girl. Oh, right. Oh, that's the, one that's, the one that's on your headphones. <laughs> right. And you, Taylor, do you think I'm going to get last place? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, I, I still do because I believe in Cassie. <laughs> That is thank you after all of this. Thank you so much for that belief. But yeah, Unnatural 20s. Go check it out. That's it? That's it. You did such good uh, <laughs> description <laughs> of the Bob Builder ones. Uh, Greg, how do you get us money? Uh, you could do you join our Patreon. 
Patreon people get additional content, and we generally say nice things about them on every episode, which is important. Uh, but also, you could go to yourpopfilter.com slash Amazon and do all your Amazon stuff, and then we get... I don't really understand how it works, but we get some money from that, <laughs> I guess. Hey, we don't either, buddy. I don't either, yeah. <laughs> Mike, tell us about social media. You can follow us uh, at Your Pop Filter on Twitter, on Instagram. You can also follow Unnatural 20s on those things at Unnatural 20s. Thanks, Mike. And what's the dog's Instagram? Uh, Murdoch the Pup. Yeah, uh, follow Murdoch the Pup for some this silly is- ass faces from a puppy. This is a good Instagram, you guys. This is a good one to have. This uh- one will have a lot of Oscar knobs for sure. <laughs> did you, Cassie, real quick, did you yeah. name your wonky eyed, borderline blind dog Murdoch after you found out or before you found out that we it has had, issues seen? I had an inkling, I had a feeling. It was a little cr- crooked, and then he grew up and it got way crooked, and I was like, it was perfect. <laughs> Uh, also, if you agreed or disagreed with anything Taylor said, email us at contact at yourpopfilter.com, and we will read those on the next episode of the Oscar Draft, not but 12 months from now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for entering into the best of the year season. Next week is the big preview that will preview this show that you've already heard and all of the future shows in the future. My name is Ryan. For Taylor, for Greg, I'm Mike. I'm Cassie. I'm Greg. I'm for Cassie. I'm Taylor. I'm Mike. I'm Greg. How do you do this? Uh, yeah, exactly. It's not so easy, is it? It's not that easy. You just raise your voice up at the <laughs> end. <laughs> yeah, and then the song's like... <laughs> <laughs>